Hi, my name is Pastor Jerry Ingalls from First Baptist Church in Newcastle, Indiana, and we are on a journey together of studying the Bible one chapter at a time. I'm writing a short devotional thought on each chapter of the Bible, and then I'm sharing that with you. Today, we're looking at Exodus chapter 11. Exodus 11 verses 4 through 7 is a very important passage in this short chapter that warns of the final and most horrific plague. Moses said, Thus says the Lord, About midnight I am going out into the midst of Egypt, and all the firstborn in the land of Egypt shall die. From the firstborn of the Pharaoh who sits on his throne, even to the firstborn of the slave girl who is behind the millstones, all the firstborn of the cattle as well. Moreover, there shall be a great cry in all the land of Egypt, such as there has not been before, and such as shall never be again. But against any of the sons of Israel, a dog will not even bark, whether against man or beast, that you may understand how the Lord makes a distinction between Egypt and Israel. There is a critical detail that is often missed in the teaching of the Passover. The tenth plague was a threat to, quote, all the firstborn in the land of Egypt. That means both Israelites and Egyptians were in danger equally from the plague. This time, and for all times forward, God makes a distinction between his people and the other people by authorizing a specific way for his people to be protected. The Israelites are no longer automatically protected from the plague like they were in the first nine plagues because now they must obey God's authorized way to be safe. As we'll learn in Exodus chapter 12, it is only through the blood of the Passover lamb that God's people would be safe from God's coming judgment. The same is true today. Paul says in Romans chapter 6 verse 23, for the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Seize the moment and trust God for your protection from his coming wrath. Believe in Jesus Christ for eternal life because he is the way, the truth, and the life. Seize the moment.